I never thought I'd be the one to say this on camera, but three days ago, I received a call from someone inside NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, someone I've known for 30 years, and the panic in their voice told me everything I needed to know before they even spoke. They said four words, 3i Atlas has stopped. Before we go any further, I need you to do something. Comment your city name below and tell me if you've noticed anything unusual in the night sky recently. NASA is quietly tracking reports from across the globe and they need to know where these sightings are concentrated. What I'm about to share may change the way you see humanity's place in the universe. Now, let me tell you what happened. For those unfamiliar, 3i Atlas is an interstellar object, a visitor from beyond our solar system. It was first detected in December of 2019 by the Atlas Survey System in Hawaii. At the time, astronomers celebrated it as only the second known interstellar object ever observed following the mysterious Oumuamua just two years prior. We cataloged it. We measured its velocity. We tracked its trajectory as it hurtled through our cosmic neighborhood at over 100,000 miles per hour. And then, like Oumuamua before it, we watched it leave. Except it didn't leave. What I'm about to tell you has not been publicly disclosed. It contradicts every official report you'll find in the astronomical databases. Because while the world was told that 3i Atlas exited our solar system in early 2020, continuing its journey into the void, it didn't. Instead, at a distance just beyond the orbit of Neptune, approximately 4.5 billion kilometers from the Sun, the object decelerated, not gradually, as if caught by gravitational influence, but instantaneously. One moment traveling at relativistic speed, the next nearly motionless in the freezing darkness of the outer solar Solar system, and it has been there ever since. For almost five years, a select group of scientists, astrophysicists, cosmologists, engineers from NASA, the European Space Agency, and even undisclosed military consultants have been monitoring this object in complete silence. I was brought into the loop 18 months ago after submitting a theoretical paper on non-gravitational propulsion systems. They needed someone who could think beyond the boundaries of conventional physics, someone willing to consider the impossible. Because 3i Atlas is not a comet. It's not an asteroid. It's not a natural object at all. It's a probe. I know how that sounds. Believe me, I do. I've spent my entire career championing the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, exploring the mathematical likelihood of alien civilizations, theorizing about warp drives and wormholes and the technological signatures of type 2 and type 3 civilizations on the Kardashev scale. But this, this is different. This isn't theory. This isn't speculation whispered in the halls of conferences or debated in the pages of academic journals. This is real. The evidence is overwhelming. First, there's the composition. Spectroscopic analysis revealed that 3i Atlas is encased in a shell of material that doesn't correspond to any known mineral or molecular structure found naturally in our solar system or in any meteorite we've ever studied. The surface reflects light in a way that suggests micro-layering, almost like engineered plating. Then there's the geometry. High-resolution imaging, taken by instruments I'm not authorized to name, showed that beneath the ice and dust, the object has edges, straight lines, symmetry. Nature doesn't build in straight lines, but the most disturbing discovery, the one that changed everything, came seven months ago. The object started transmitting. Not radio waves, not the kind of signal SETI has been searching for. This was something far more sophisticated, a modulated stream of quantum entangled particles pulsing outward in every direction. At first, the team thought it was some kind of decay process, perhaps a malfunction, but the pattern was too regular, too intentional. It repeated every 37 hours like a heartbeat, and then we decoded it. I can't share the full message with you, not yet, but I can tell you this, it wasn't a greeting, it wasn't an introduction, it was a log. A record. The transmission contained data, vast amounts of it, detailing star systems, planetary compositions, atmospheric readings. We recognized some of the systems. Others were unknown. And buried within the data were coordinates. Thousands of them. One set of coordinates pointed directly at Earth. 
But here's what kept me awake for weeks. The timestamp embedded in the transmission. Based on our analysis of the quantum decay signatures, the log entry corresponding to Earth was made approximately 12,000 years ago. Which means that whoever, or whatever, sent 3i Atlas into our solar system had already been here. They had already studied us, and they left this probe behind, not as a messenger, but as a monitor, a witness. Now, three days ago, something changed. The probe, which had been transmitting its steady 37-hour pulse for months, suddenly went silent. No signal, no quantum emissions, nothing. At first, the team thought there was an equipment failure, but every observatory confirmed the same thing. 3i Atlas had stopped broadcasting. And then, just 12 hours later, it moved, not away from us, toward us. It's now traveling inward, past the Kuiper Belt, accelerating at a rate that defies every known law of orbital mechanics. There's no exhaust plume, no heat signature, no reaction mass. It's simply moving, as if space itself is bending around it. At its current velocity, it will cross the orbit of Saturn within six weeks. NASA has gone dark. The data is classified. The observatories that were tracking it have been quietly reassigned. But I'm still on the inside. And I'm telling you this because I believe you have a right to know. We all do. Because I don't think 3i Atlas is coming to make contact. I think it's coming to deliver a judgment. Let me explain why. In the final transmission before it went silent, the probe sent something new, a burst of data unlike anything in the previous logs. It wasn't a record. It was an analysis, a comparison. The data compared Earth's atmospheric composition, electromagnetic activity, and biosphere complexity across two points in time, 12,000 years ago and now. And the differences are staggering. 12 millennia ago, Earth was a wild garden. The atmosphere was clean. The electromagnetic spectrum was silent, except for natural phenomena. Lightning, solar radiation. Human civilization was scattered, small, harmonious with the planet. We were hunter-gatherers, artists, dreamers under the stars. Today, Earth is a burning hive. Our atmosphere is choked with carbon dioxide, methane, industrial pollutants. The electromagnetic spectrum is saturated. Radio, microwave, satellite signals screaming into space like a cacophony of noise. Our oceans are acidifying. Our forests are burning. Our ice caps are collapsing. And we have developed the capacity for self-annihilation, nuclear weapons, biological warfare, artificial intelligence on the brink of surpassing human control. Control. The probe detected all of it, and according to the analysis embedded in that final transmission, Earth has crossed what the data labels as a critical threshold. We don't know what that means exactly, but the phrase appeared 17 times in the message. Critical threshold. Critical threshold. Critical threshold. Some of my colleagues believe it's a warning. That 3i Atlas is returning to assess whether humanity is still worthy of existence or whether we've become a threat not just to ourselves, but to the cosmic order. Others believe it's an invitation, that we finally reached a level of technological development that makes us eligible for contact with a galactic community, a civilization of intelligences far older and wiser than us. But I have a darker suspicion. I think 3i Atlas is part of a containment protocol. Consider this. If advanced civilizations exist, and statistically, they almost certainly do, then why haven't we heard from them? Why is the universe so silent? This is the Fermi paradox, one of the great mysteries of cosmology. But what if the silence isn't an accident? What if it's enforced? What if there are rules out there? Laws that govern which civilizations are allowed to expand beyond their home worlds, and which ones must be contained? Think of it as a cosmic quarantine, a firewall. Species that evolve intelligence are monitored. If they achieve harmony with their planet, master their destructive impulses, and demonstrate wisdom, they're welcomed. But if they become parasitic, violent, reckless, if they threaten to spread their chaos beyond their own world, they're isolated, cut off, or worse. 3i Atlas may be the enforcer of that quarantine. And if Earth has crossed the threshold, if we've been deemed too dangerous, too broken, too far gone, then the probe's return might not be a visit. It might be an intervention. I don't say this to frighten you. 
I say it because we need to confront the reality of what we've become. For all our brilliance, our art, our science, our capacity for love, we are also a species at war with itself and with the planet that sustains us. We've built weapons capable of ending all life on Earth in an afternoon. We've created machines that could one day replace us. We've poisoned the air, the water, the soil, and something out there has been watching. What happens next? I don't know. NASA doesn't know. No one knows. But I can tell you this. The governments of the world are preparing. Not publicly, of course. But behind closed doors, there are contingency plans, scenarios, protocols. Some involve diplomacy. Others involve defense. And some, some involve evacuation. In the coming weeks, you may notice strange activity. Military movements. Unusual satellite launches. Observatories shutting down without explanation. If you see something in the sky, something that doesn't belong, document it. Share it. Because the era of secrecy is ending, whether the authorities like it or not. 3i Atlas is no longer a secret that can be contained. Now, I want to take a moment to reflect on what this means. Not just scientifically, but philosophically. Because if this probe truly represents an intelligence beyond our own, then we are being confronted with a mirror, a reflection of who we are and what we've done. And that reflection is not kind. For so long, we've imagined that first contact would be triumphant, that we'd greet our cosmic neighbors as equals, sharing knowledge, culture, hope. But what if first contact is nothing like that? What if it's a reckoning, a moment when we're forced to answer for the way we've treated this fragile blue world, for the way we've treated each other? I think about the indigenous peoples of Earth, cultures that lived for thousands of years in balance with nature, who understood that we are not separate from the planet, but part of it. They knew something we forgot, that intelligence without wisdom is destruction. Perhaps that's the test. Not whether we can build rockets or split atoms, but whether we can transcend our own worst instincts, whether we can grow up. Because if 3i Atlas is truly here to judge us, then the question it's asking is simple. Are you ready? Are we ready to be more than conquerors, more than consumers, more than children playing with fire? Are we ready to become stewards, guardians, members of a cosmic community that values life above profit, harmony above power? I don't know the answer. I wish I did. But I do know this. The countdown has begun. 3i Atlas is coming. And when it arrives, we'll discover whether humanity's story ends in the silence of the stars or whether it's only just beginning. I've dedicated my life to understanding the universe, to exploring the mysteries of space and time, of black holes and quantum fields, of parallel dimensions and the birth of the cosmos itself. But nothing in my education prepared me for this. Nothing could have, because this isn't just a scientific event. It's a spiritual one, an existential one. We are being visited, not by gods, but by something perhaps even more profound, by the universe itself, looking back at us, measuring our worth, deciding our fate. And the only question that matters now is, what will it see when it looks into our eyes? Follow this channel as we continue decoding the universe's final warnings. In the weeks ahead, I'll be sharing more. Things I've been told to keep silent. Things that demand to be spoken. Because if this is truly the end of one chapter and the beginning of another, then we must face it together with open eyes and courageous hearts. So I ask you again, comment your city name below. Tell me what you've seen. Tell me what you feel. Because something is shifting, not just in the heavens, but inside all of us. A knowing, a trembling, the sense that everything we thought was certain is not. And maybe, just maybe, that's exactly what we needed. The universe doesn't owe us answers, but it has given us a choice to wake up, to change, to evolve before the threshold closes forever. What do you think 3i Atlas will find when it reaches us? A species worth saving or a cautionary tale whispered across the stars? 